never did care much for the bagpipes, so much so that in 1746, Parliament declared the pipes to be an instrument not of music, but of war. An opinion shared by Rommel's troops almost 200 years later at El Alamein. The tune played that night was Highland Laddie, regimental march of the Royal Scots Dragoon Guards. The regiment displays battle honours from Waterloo to North Africa. Their most recent one, Top of the Pops.
That song topped the hit parade, but some people were more appalled than amazed. Pipe major Tony Creese remains unrepentant. Well, when we made Amazing Grace, it was frowned on slightly, especially by people like the director of Army Piping and uh, such like, because it's not the usual thing to do with bagpipes. And in fact, the die-hard pipers didn't really like it. However, the record sold 10 million copies, so well, what's a row now and again? p -rock is the kind of classical music of bagpipes. It's, it's not really understood, so not really appreciated by the public at large. Do you think the English like it? I'm sure the English as a whole really don't like it, or let's say really don't appreciate it. Um, the, the tune I'm going to play in a moment is called Calicreist in Gaelic, and that means the cell of Christ. In English, it's known as Glengarry's March. And all these tunes have a history behind them. And the history behind this particular paper is of rather a tragic feud between the McDonald's of Glengarry and the Mackenzies of Kintail. And what is supposed to have happened is that the Mackenzies were at church one Sunday morning when the McDonald's of Glengarry surrounded the church, locked the door or barred the door, and set fire to the place and burnt everybody in the church to death. However, some time later, the son of the MacDonald chieftain was himself captured and slain and placed under the flagstone of the Mackenzie's church. So that each Sunday morning, as the, popu uh, sorry, the congregation went to church, they were able to trample over him, as I said.